Hello, I'm Saint Castle. Welcome to another video. In this video, I will show you how I made my villager breeder slash how I made my uh, villager trading hall. I'm going to show you the basic layout, the basic build of it. I'm going to show you what you need. And then I'm going to take you on a little tour of what it is and what you can do with it, how it started and where it is today. We are basically in a flat world and I'm going to show you exactly what you need, which is not a lot. I mean, you don't need a lot. Um, basically you're going to need any block. It depends on your build. If you want to use multiple blocks for the build, uh, you're going to need beds for the villagers. Of course, you're going to need signs for, uh, letting you know what your trades are going to be for later. You're going to need torches, birch fence. You're going to need birch fence gate. You're going to need some type of job. Any job doesn't matter. Glass and uh, glass pane. This is this is a uh, this is optional and this is optional too. But you will need these things here for sure. And then the villagers, of course. OK, so this is a build that I used in my bedrock world for about two years. OK, so there's two different phases. Phase one is what I used for a while. And then I got tired of all the mayhem in it. So I changed it to phase two. Phase two looks way better. It's more organized. All right. So here we are. First build. This is phase one. This is what I was using for a while. And it wasn't that good. It's mayhem. You'll see right now. You probably already saw already. Um, so you can make the entrance uh, like this. Or you can make it with doors. You can make it however you want. The bigger it is, the more uh, villagers you can have in it. Um, so let me, let me get right into it. Let me just jump right into it. So I have this. So this is what I use for a while. As you can tell, it's just, it's a mess. It is unorganized. I have a bunch of different jobs on the ground. I have it to where, uh, you don't know what's what, what, who's selling what or whatever. It, there is no rhyme or reason for this. You can put whatever jobs in here you need. I just set it up like this so you can see how many jobs you can put in here. Can't even tell who sells what. You can tell what they are, obviously, but there is no organization. There's no organization at all. You just got to go through each one of them and see what they have. Oh, uh, see this guy, these guys got books. So this was the phase one that I used for a long time. And uh, you will get these uh, golems in here to protect them. I've never had an issue with this build with any enemies getting into here. Yeah, it's pretty safe. Nothing nothing gets around these carpets. I don't know how I dealt with this for so long. I think this is why I made phase two to begin with, because this is just crazy. All right, so let's go down to phase two. Good job. This is phase two and it's way better. Okay. It's a lot more organized. You can use these spruce gate fences to get in and get out, but I hate opening them and closing them. So, uh, I, I rather have it break, 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 break. And then, yeah, you can easily get in and out. Uh, nothing else can get in. So this is phase two. I'm going to build this. In my new SMP that I have with my friends called Ready Player One, um, there's different ways you can do this. You can use the fences here and just put a carpet here so you can get in and out and get to get to the guy, girl. I don't, I don't know. Uh, you can put this from the ceiling so you know what it is. You can hang a sign there. That's what I was saying. This is the, the signs are optional you don't have to use a sign i mean you can if you want you can put you can put them on the ground you can hang them up there uh you can even have this simple one right here where you can just kind of like put the signs on the ground here or hang them in the, from the ceiling or put them in the front uh you don't have to jump in here like this to get to the guy you can just basically just reach them from here uh you can use this simple one here you can add more people here you can make the space bigger smaller you can Basically, just go through this whole build and switch out things you don't like. I like this because it's simple. I don't have to mess with it. I can just jump from here to here. I could jump from here to here. Enemies, villagers, uh, even um, uh, golems, they can get in and out. So, ba are you making me a liar? 
What are you? How did you get in here? Get out of here. I don't know how that thing got in here. Anyway, you can actually do what you want with this build. Just let others know where you learned it from. This is my very own build for villager breeder and trading hall. So you can change this however you want. Just let people know where you learned it from. A lot of people, a lot of videos I've seen, they all do the one block trader uh, trading hall. And I just don't like it. I like this. I actually like this more. You can make these walls smaller. You can make these little houses, these little rooms. You can make them a lot smaller. Okay. So it just depends. You know, I, I made this a while ago um after i was done making it i used it for a little bit and then i got a i got a computer and i started playing on computer and never i never went back to my old bedrock world so i didn't have time to kind of like make everything better um i didn't have time to like make this better um this could be changed this is n this is something i made a while ago so it's kind of crappy but i'm pretty sure somebody else can make a different entrance that's a lot more safer and looks better than this so i'm not the builder i just made this up because i needed to i needed i need something better i need some i needed something better than phase one because phase one is just so crazy i mean look at this <laughs> yeah phase two was just way better you can use either of them but I would recommend phase two. You can't find anything and you got to run through everybody. You can use this build however you want. Just let everyone know where you got the idea, where you got the recommendation from, where you learned this from basically, and I'm fine with it. All right. So I hope this helps you in any way. And if it did, then like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff. Um, Phase two is just way better, especially if you make this here a little bit smaller. So 12 in here and then 16 in there. So it just depends how many people you want to put in this house. I know it takes a lot more space, but it just looks better. And it's I, I think it looks better. That's just that's my opinion. No, uh, just let me know what you guys think about this build uh, phase one and phase two in the description below i'll see you guys in the next video have a good one be safe and i'll see you guys in the next video bye bye